word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. One more day being renewed in the grace of the glory of our Lord to the praise of his glory, in order to enjoy this great divine energy of our Lord, the divine health, to make it accountable for every breath that we take on this earth after salvation, to MGG rather than yielding the rest of our time to the lustful patterns of the old sin nature. Knowing and doing Lord's will, to do and to preach our Lord's will, to execute this protocol plan of God, to make manifest what reality is the word and what it could be for the truth is the ultimate purpose of this life. If we are not witnessing for the truth, no matter how better, how best you think you are, you are absolutely 0, 0, 0, 0.00. Therefore, it is very much essential for us to note how to approach that great Lord. That great Lord dwells among the holy of the holies. That great Lord has been constantly proclaimed holy, holy, holy. And that great Lord doesn't have anything in him which pertains to us to think as darkness. The great Lord dwells in the light, and this light has given for us and to tell, Call by my name you are, and I have made this covenant with thee, and you need to be very cautious by, name, by my name that you are going to execute. The Israelites were a great failures, so he admonished them, telling to the point of their failure. Even Daniel prayed for them, but then too, our Lord could reveal only the 78th weeks, and in that, the great seventh week has been revealed for us in the book of Revelation. And furthermore, our Lord himself has told through the teaching ministry of the things pertaining to Malachi, the way the covenant was been made, the way the things have been done, the way the things have been worked out, and he really manifested the great work of Jehovah in them, and he was telling to them what it could mean, what it could be, and what it is for them to be in Christ, which has been called by the name of Jehovah but then to hear even the priests failed in their work and we have some more great lessons to be learned which are very much essential for us when we can look in the three or three or four verses of the Bible to be very great the first one was Daniel who prayed for the nation called by name and the second one is Jeremiah who tells Lord thy words have been found and I ate them and I've been called by thy name that is what he has respected the honor of the word of the Lord and he has respected the name of Jehovah and he manifested that which was quite essential for them to be made known and when we come to the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 and 15 it is of very great importance for us to note as such Apostle Paul tells that I bend my knees and I am praying to this royal family of God, and I am praying on behalf of this royal family of God to God, the Father, which has been named after him. So we, the church age believers, have to be very much careful. There, when Jeremiah proclaims, I ate thy food, therefore I have been called by thy name. Daniel prays for the nation of Israelites, which has been called by thy name, but many of them were not faithful. So exactly the thing what we can look today, even our Lord proclaims the name Telling to the point of Malachi chapter 2, that which has been made by name, by my name I have made it with thee, but then to you have failed. Now when you come to the church age, the same replica of Daniel prayer is been indicated in each and every corner, though they have been called by the name of the great realm of Christians. Why this man have been failed? This man have been failed not to know the reality of the word. This man have been failed, war with Apostle Paul, bending his knees and prayed to the Lord God the Father, named after the name of Lord God the Father in heaven. And he says, protect them. And now we have been not enlightened, protection in the sense to enlighten them to the word of the Lord. And this light which has to be protecting, which has to be shining forth in our lives, has been darkened, has been squeezed out, because we are not learning doctrine. Ultimately, the purpose of the life wherewith we have been called in this church, our arachaliketesis, and we have been called as polytema privileges, is of very great importance for us to note that we have to stay for the truth. We have to be in the truth. We have to execute like a fire of the truth. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 6 is trans written his ministers are like fire today are we like fire to Christ where is the word of the Lord fire represents the ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit it is not again going for the misconceptions of the ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit as such many people do 
In fact, even in good, in fact, when indeed when we look upon the information which has been given in the internet concerning our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, what this people believe, what that people believe, what they think, what they do not think, who the seldom cares about them, what they think or what they do not think. We want to know what the Bible teaches to us. We want to think and we want to care what the Bible, Lord God Almighty, has written through the holy men and what they have revealed for us. And that could be enlightened only in the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. You cannot go and ask this trend, that trend, do this, do that. No, no goodism, no doism. What the Bible tells when we want to learn, you have to be in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. What the Bible tells, if anyone wants to proclaim, it will be a great happiness to that person who is proclaiming it. It will be a great happiness to the person who is hearing it. Only when both of them are in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. When both of them are in the spiritual IQ. One cannot be great, one cannot be less. Both ought to be in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. If they're not in the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, neither of them one can understand the plan of God or the importance of the word of the Lord. They will just bamble and they'll just go and they will do things as per the best their mind can understand and they get out. But the word of the Lord is not for that. The word of the Lord has many things for us to teach. The word of the Lord has many things for us to be learned. And we are not able to comprehend them. Either we are not able to apprehend them. And we come to the conclusion, this man told this, that man told this. And we are going to follow this method, we are going to follow that method. Rice cults, harasses. In fact, even include, if you can think, we are still going to rise those things which have been called as cults, which have been called as denominations. And why is the heresy so great? No teaching, that's why. Simple answer. And they come to tell, this is what Lord wants, this is what Lord thinks, this is what Lord can do. All those things are sheer rocks, dear brethren. As long as this man failed to come to the unity in the knowledge of God by the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, given by the bona fide gift of a pastor teacher to the church, apostles, prophets, they have done their work. Evangelist is going to do the work to non-believers. The pastor teacher is going to do the work to the believers to grow them up. It is the feeling that he has to give to the church to make them to stabilize against all such kind of knowledge which threats against God and want to think that they are great, but we are here to pull them down and trample on our feet because these origins are from Satan, not from God. Because no comparison could be made to Bible, my Bible, my Lord. This man, they think they have their ideas. Mahmudinism, or Bahuballah, the one who came to tell, as per the maturity comes, I am the, I am the next one to come after Christ, and I came, and they want to follow this, they want to follow that. It's very pathetic for us to note these things, their beliefs their teachings. When we are not properly trained up in the word of the Lord, you definitely follow a trap for them. As such, many people are, and they have done it. And they have become a great trap. Why? When you can teach your doctrine fairly and rightly under the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, then these traps are nothing, but you will become a trap for this. The only simple reason why you will become a trap for this is that you don't know doctrine, that's all. You have not learned what is the mind of Christ. To learn the mind of Christ, it requires the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy Spirit. And since you love to linger over in your lustful pattern of the old sin nature, you cannot get. You go for this, you go for that. You do this, you do that. You are happy here, you are happy there. Some men will come there that they want to learn doctrine. And as soon as it seems tough for them to continue with the vocabulary or the teaching of the standards of the Bible doctrine, they will say, no, we can't further prolong. Why? Because no love for doctrine. They're having only love for the hearsay that the people could be loving them. That's it. And it's of a very tough time. Very much tough time. Dear brethren, we need to know what it is, the present trend, and where it wants to end up. The present trend is of a vein. It will certainly end up in apostasy if you are not prolonging to learn the word of the Lord. The great name of Jehovah, wherewith you have been called, people will consider Christians as some other religion type people. Christianity is not a never religion. They will never come to know that. 
Christianity is a fellowship, a relationship with Lord God the Father by His only begotten Son, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Christian doctrine is not the doctrines or the methodology, teachings of others. The principality of the Word of the Lord is very true and very pure and very, and very perfect. It demands nothing but doctrine, doctrine, doctrine. And if you think you have furthermore great importance than this, it's your wish, it's your life. We are no way to be considering and to call you to do this, to do that. We can only tell you what is the word of the Lord, and the decision is left to you which way you are going to go. So dear brethren, think over these issues, as we shall continue in the next day. Father, grateful for the privilege that was going to fellowship you through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will in us of the things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.